हेलो फ्रेंड्स टूडे आर लेक्चर इज ऑन सेट ऑफ एंड कैरी फॉरवर्ड ऑफ लॉसेज वर्ड इज दिस चैप्टर मीन दिस चैप्टर इज अंडर यूनिट दिस इज चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स ऑफ द प्रैक्टिस मैन्यूल सेट ऑफ एंड कैरी फॉरवर्ड ऑफ लॉस दिस इज अलियस चैप्टर इट कम्स इन द टोटल कैलकुलेशन ऑफ द इनकम ऑफ एन एस एस सी और एनी any any head any five head it it comes as an adjustment so you should know to get the entire sum right as as in the previous lecture i taught you all that income which do not form part of the total income that is also a part of the all the five heads but uh, the adjustment come for one or two marks if that adjustments are not right the entire sum will be wrong so how to read this chart there is a chart for this i have made in this chart the entire set of and carry forward is there the entire chapter the entire chapter is all over here you have to just memorize this chart in the exam it hardly takes 2 minutes in the rough work to write this write this look at the follow the instruction how to read this and you'll go through the entire sum and your sum will come to right because many a times the students after doing practice also to 10 to 15 times each sum they don't come to understand why is this happening why my sum is going wrong so there is a technique for this see salary salary is an income it is an complete income no loss will be generated in salary in the current year in the subsequent year so number of years also not applicable written file up to the due date is also not applicable so how to read this see this salary losses from income from salary losses income from salary for the current year the losses that have been incurred from the salary which is not incurred so let's take the another example income from house property that is losses don't consider income loss from loss from house property if the loss from house property is there in the current year then such loss will be deducted from any income from any income and even after that the amount of loss is been there so that amount of loss will be carry forward to the subsequent year and subsequent year such loss will be deducted from only from house property income income from house property no other income such if the loss is say of 10 lakhs and in the current year uh, 5 lakhs loss has been absorbed in other incomes and the in com computation of the total income the total income comes to zero because of this loss and the ssc don't need to pay anything and but the remaining 5 lakhs of loss is been carry forward to next year such carry forward is allowed till 8 years number of year 8 years written file up to due date is not compulsory if in the in in other questions in other heads compulsory means if they have not filed the written up to the due date then such benefit of carry forward will not be given to them given to the ssc so not compulsory if ssc has not written the written the file up to the due date even though he'll be given this advantage of carry forward see how to read once this is once if you understand to read it will make my work easy while doing revision i'll do it rapid fast just now understand how to read column by column you have to read loss from house property so any loss of house property will be deducted from any income see if there is a house property loss in this column you carry forward it to say income from salary you deducted the loss from income from salary and income from salary head become zero even though after getting that zero you have the carry for uh, you have the loss of the current year say or more uh, say one or two, one or two lakhs you take that one or two lakhs and deduct it from income from other sources income from business profession income from capital gain and after that that becomes zero so the for the current year the tax payable or the in the total income of the ssc will become zero this is how carry forward is explained see loss from capital gain loss from capital gain if the loss is short term short term loss of the current year short term loss of the current year will be 
deducted only from any gains no other income only any gain either short term capital gain or long term capital gain in the subsequent year also long term capital gain or short term capital gain. i have taken short term capital loss first because it is going to be deducted from any gain there is no specification that short term loss is there so short term gain only it should be deducted it can be deducted from any because it is short smaller uh, just like a younger brother gets more advantage than the elder brother short term capital gain is the younger brother and long term capital gain is the elder brother so the benefit is of carrying forward the loss of short term capital gain is given till 8 years but there is a compulsion for filing the return up to the due date if the deduction is uh, so if the return is not filed up to the due date then such carry forward benefit wouldn't be available to the SSC in case of long term capital loss see long term losses from capital gain that is loss long term loss only long term capital gain long term capital loss will be deducted only from long term capital gain and in the subsequent year also only from the long term capital gain it can't be de deducted from the short term capital gain because there is a difference between the long term capital gain while calculating the total income with that will be that i'll be teaching you in the capital gain chapter long term capital gain is having a slab rate of 20 a flat slab rate of 20 percent the ssc have to pay long term capital gain at the rate of 20 percent but at the short term capital gain the the rate of tax is the slab rate that i have taught you in the first introductory chapter first introduction that is uh, 0 to 2 lakh 50 thousand 0 percent 2 lakh to 5 lakhs 10 percent 5 lakh to 10 lakhs 20 percent 10 lakh and above 30 percent short term will be calculated in that but long term won't be so long term capital gain loss will be deducted only from the long term capital gain in the subsequent year in the next year because it might be possible that the long term capital gain is a huge amount and it it has to be get it has to get set off in the next years so there is the eight year advantage is given but the return filing up to the due date is compulsory if such is not then then the SSC won't get the advantage of carrying forward the losses and that and setting it off from the other incomes in losses from other sources losses from other sources shall be deducted from any income say salary house property capital gain business profession horse race unabsorbed any income any income but only for one year it can't be carry forward to subsequent year because it is other sources other sources have no head and leg no no back and forth so it is other sources it can't be said which income can be deducted from other so it is given the exemption of only one year subsequent year not applicable number of years not applicable return file up to the due date not applicable now losses from business and profession that is also speculative business that is an illegal business illegal business losses can be deducted in the current year from the same income that is illegal that is speculative business income in the current year as well as in the subsequent year but the benefit will be available for only four years just because it is speculative speculative suspective illegal whatever we call only four years only four years benefit will be given because it is not a right way to earn the income and written filing up to the due date is very compulsory just think if such speculative income is not written filed then the government will not come to know and if such is not done then they won't be able to get the advantage of setting off that's why the ssc wants to set off will by default have to file a return and pay the tax to the government this is how government makes section makes this provision so that all the SSCs try to pay the in tax on their income if losses from business and profession that is a normal business except salary any income except salary any any income except salary any income it would be deducted in the subsequent year only from the same income the losses will be deducted for the eight years and return filing up to the due date is compulsory if return is not filed up to the due date then such exemption or such, sorry, not the exemption such set off and carry forward will not be allowed horse race horse race is also an illegal source of earning the income so 
the losses from the horse race will be set off from the income from the horse race and in the subsequent year also the law if the loss is huge and the income and you have earned income in the subsequent year also the loss can be set off from that but only for four years see four years and the written filing up to the due date is compulsory then only the ssc will get the benefit of setting off on absorbed depreciation except salary because uh of uh, ssc uh, see here also except salary depreciation generally comes in business and profession chapter so if an ssc is conducting a business and profession and having salary also that means he is doing he is having his own in, he is having his own business till 6 o'clock and after that he is going and teaching in some classes and he is getting a salary so the depreciation that is unabsorbed depreciation cannot be uh, and the loss on that unabsorbed depreciation cannot be set off from the salary cannot be in the current year except salary in the subsequent year except salary for infinite years this symbol stand for infinity infinite years it's not 8 i am not mistakenly written 8 but it is infinite the unabsorbed depreciation can be carry forward for infinite number of years unless and until that unabsorbed depreciation comes to zero only and there is no compulsion no compulsory for written filing up to the due date i hope you all understand please copy it this is very important it comes in every sum and if you don't do this this are small adjustment in ipcc there is also a negative marking how i will let you know if you don't do any of this adjustment right see like house property loss is there and you have not uh, set off that loss in the current year with any of the income then the entire calculation of the total income will come wrong then if you become a chartered accountant and a client comes and say i have a loss from if sorry i said if you all all will become a chartered accountant and when you all become a and the client will come and if he'll say i have a loss from my house property and i have income from salary so you will say okay and you you will take the salary income and calculate it and you will pay the total income and you will say the salary income is a total income and on that you will pay tax you will not deduct the loss then it is the loss of the ssc the ssc will not come and the ssc means the client the client will not come back to you again he'll change the chartered accountant so you have to do it correct if there is a salary income is there and there is a loss you have to set it off set it off is available only on this condition you have to see if you see that the ssc have taken the house properties exemption a uh, example if the short term capital gain if the ssc has not filed the return file up to the due date in the previous assessment year previous assessment year and now he has changed the chartered account and came to you and said such such things are there i have gained a loss and now i want to do this you would set it off against my capital gain income so you say if you have not compulsorily filed the return up to the due date i can't do it that is the right thing you have done Are you all getting me? You have to deduct the loss, current year loss with the current year income. Then only the computation of total income will come right, and then only you will charge the rate as per the slab rate. And after that, one percent, after that two percent of education says, and one percent of secondary higher education says. This is how it will go. Now please copy this this chart very properly. Pause the video. I hope you all have written this. You have enjoyed the video. This is a simple shortcut. The entire chapter is over here. See, if you go and read in in the study material, there are and there are more than twenty pages, and I have I have consolidated all those pages in this one page. Not only one page, half page, and the entire set of is in your brain now. you just when such question come in the exam you just re recall this entire box and that's it and uh, entire sum will go wrong entire sum will go right if you don't follow this there is a possibility there is a possibility that the sum may go wrong so please copy this enjoy I hope you have copied thank you